Well, good morning, gang. How's it going? <laughs> I'm sitting in a hotel room in, um, in, where are we at? We're in Paducah, Paducah, Kentucky. Yes. Sitting in a hotel room, Paducah, Kentucky, which is virtually the halfway point if you're driving from St. Joseph, Missouri to uh, Atlanta, to Atlanta. There you go. So that's where we're at. Drinking this morning from the Choice Privilege Rewards Hotel mug, uh, paper cup. Oh, there's nothing like a hotel cup of coffee, is there? Good morning, Richard O'Neill. How are you doing, brother? Great, to, great seeing you. Oh my gosh, Tammy, Emily Wooten, Emily, uh, Emily Lynn Marie Wooten's on here. Rebecca Kincaid, how are you doing this morning? Hope you're doing good. Good morning, Denny Snyder and Judy Davidson and Randy Baker. Holy cow, you're all here? Are you kidding me? On a on a on a Wednesday morning, November. What is it? November the twenty fifth. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. I, tell Tammy to get to work. Trust me. She's got this place. She's got this hotel room spick and span. It's tidied up. She's rearranged the furniture. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Well, good morning, everybody. I hope you're doing good. It's uh, the day before It's the day before Thanksgiving. And like, I heard someone singing on the radio, and it was beautiful yesterday. For the holidays, you can't go home sweet home. There you go. That's our that's our 2020 for you right there. Um, so anyway, we are headed to Alabama and uh, not Alabama, Atlanta. We're going to Atlanta, Georgia. Um, and the pastor went down to Georgia. He was looking for, you know, nine bodies to steal. That's what he was looking for. But they, nope, they're all staying there. That's what's going on. Eventually, now the word is eventually that uh, Libby and Josh and their, what do they have, eight or nine kids? How many kids do they have now, Tammy? Four and a four and a third, and they're four and a third. They're three and a third. Yeah, they're three and a third kids are gonna come back. But who we'll we'll see. You know, we'll see. Sure. No electricity. Who's got no electricity? Does, is St. Joe is electricity? Is the power out in St. Joe? Wow. Well, that's unfortunate. Sorry to hear that. Uh, well, how are you watching this? How in the heck are you getting online here to, to watch this if your power's out? Oh, you're on your phone. I'll bet you're on your phone. Okay, yeah. Wow, well, that's a heck of a deal. Well, I'll be praying for you. I'm glad you told me that. Hey, Jerry, how are you, buddy? Good to, good to see you, man. Glad, to, glad you're on here. Happy Thanksgiving Eve. I love Thanksgiving. I really love Thanksgiving. Deb, I will absolutely hug those two, two girls, and I'm happy to do it. You're on your phone. Terrific, good. Oh, my gosh, Tammy, your dad's awake. Larry, how are you, buddy? Missing you on this trip. Uh, well, uh, yeah, let's just go with we're missing you. We're missing you on this trip, and I uh, hope, uh, hope you have a happy Thanksgiving. I'm sure we'll talk tomorrow. But uh, Good morning, Elaine. How are you, my G3, G3 friend? Glad you're here this morning. i got to keep, you know, I've got a uh, kind of a mixed-up setup here. I'm sitting in the hotel room, and so I've got, uh, I've got the, uh, the iPhone going here uh, with the camera, and I've got my laptop out for uh for my devotional notes and so yeah it's all it's all good what's a big deal and 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 i've got my right hand full of a nice piping hot cup of coffee candy short good morning how are you this morning happy um happy uh thanksgiving eve hope uh, hope you're doing well i'll bet there's a lot of uh, you know what holy cow tammy come close to this phone you can smell all the cooking going on in uh, back in in St. Joe. And I don't know how they're doing it with no electricity. That's, I, they've got fires going in their middle of their kitchens. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Well, great, great. Okay. Well, listen, it's nine o'clock. So when we leave here, let me just kind of fill you in. When we leave here, which will be immediately after I hit the finish button on this, uh, on this uh, Facebook live devotional, <clears throat> then I've been instructed we're headed to Walmart. Because it's what? It's 9 o'clock in the morning, and we've not yet been to Walmart, which is crazy. That's that's weird. So we're going to Walmart. We're going to get some uh, Mr. Short is here. Hello, Mr. Short. Nice to see you, or, or, or at least to know that you're there. So we're going to Walmart. We've got to get some waters for the drive. And you know what else? I'm just going to tell you. Okay, it's Thanksgiving, and I'm supposed to be a little more grateful. Something has happened to my toenail scissors. Okay. I don't know what's happened to him. Turns out nobody in my world has any idea what's happened to my toenail scissors. So apparently they have disintegrated into thin air, which is just amazing. So nevertheless, 
the old hooves are, are needing uh, reshoed, if you know what I'm saying. So uh, we're going to Walmart and we're going to get some, uh, well, among the water, we're also going to get some, uh, some toenail scissors. That's what we're going to do. And I can't wait. I'm going to feel like I'm going to lose about five pounds just cutting my hooves. So uh, just trimming the hooves. So that's pretty cool. Okay, well, listen, you, you don't care about that. Let's get going here with the devotion. <clears throat> this morning for the devotion, I decided to do something like extremely uh, in, uh, uh, inconsistent uh, with, uh, with, what I've, with what I normally do. So you've heard of uh, Aiden Wilson Tozer, I take it. I'm uh, kind of a fan, kind of a fan of, uh, of uh, Tozer. And uh, he penned a prayer that has been published a few times. This is not the entire prayer, but it is an excerpt of the prayer. And I will be honest with you, uh, on a, on a uh, somewhat, uh, at least once a month, uh, at least once a year, I pull this up and uh, just make it my prayer. Uh, for the day. It really is a prayer of centering, that even as we talk about <clears throat> um, um, Thanksgiving and not being the center of the universe and keeping your life and God's presence in perspective and being grateful and thankful and even showing a little humility um, is something that Tozer was very much about and something that I've always appreciated. Uh, about Reverend Tozer. Here's a prayer that he penned. Now, I want you to know <clears> that he, uh, he was a minister uh, back in the, well, I mean, even as late as the mid-60s. Um, but he was a very polished man. And so like many of your parents or your grandparents, uh, when they prayed, they prayed in King James English, uh, which does take a, a minute or two uh, to kind of uh, get used to the language barrier. But when you do, there's not simply a beauty about the way that he wrote or, or the, uh, the way that he prayed, but, um, but the content of the prayer is what I find to be um, stirring in my heart. And uh, so on this eve of Thanksgiving, where we're recognizing the graciousness, the, um, the centrality of the presence of the Lord, in our lives. I love this prayer for humility by, uh, by A.W. Tozer. Let me pray this this morning. <clears throat> now, O Lord of heaven and earth, I consecrate my remaining days to thee. Let them be many or few as thou wilt. I accept hard work and small rewards in this life. I ask for no easy place I shall try to be blind to the little ways that could make my life easier. If others seek a smoother path, I will try not to take the I, I will try to take the hard way without judging them too harshly. I shall expect opposition and try to take it quietly when it comes. Or if, as sometimes, I should have grateful gifts pressed upon me by thy kindly people. Stand by me then, and save me from the blight that often follows. Teach me to use whatever I receive in such a manner that will not injure my soul nor diminish my spiritual power. Let me never forget that I am a man with all of the natural faults and passions that plague the race of men. And if in thy permissive providence Honor should come to me from thy church. Let me never forget that I am unworthy of the least of thy mercies. There's something about just a recentering and a refocusing, a recognition that we are servants of God, you and I, with so much to be grateful for. I wish you from Tammy and I the happiest of Thanksgivings. There won't be a devotion uh, tomorrow morning because it is Thanksgiving and, and people are scurrying around the house with family and preparing for, uh, for uh, typical American feasting. But uh, I love you very much. And you know what? I just want to remind you again this morning, we're going to be okay. Christ is still on the throne.
God bless you. See you Sunday morning. My best one ever. I hope you can make it.